Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Bobs and Angels Together. Alright, uh, last episode things got a little bit crazy and yes we started making this bronze plate uh, setup that we got up here. Uh, let me just jump into map mode so we can actually see it. Uh, yes, this bronze bronze plate up here and uh, look yeah that's all fun and games but as it turned out we don't actually need bronze plate because what we're trying to make is our logistic science which uses a brass chest and of course a brass chest requires brass brass plate so that was a bit of a bit of a mistake anyway um that's all great uh one couple of things were pointed out to me uh why didn't i use direct insertion with these pellet presses given that the ratio is one to one from the ore processing uh well the answer is i did it because i copied this one over here and I don't know why I didn't do direct insertion, because really, if you can do direct insertion, you really should. It's uh, much more efficient uh, than than belting uh, when it comes to uh, things like EPS, because there's less items that you need to keep track of, less entities, uh, and it's just, all in all, much, much neater. So anyway, let's, let's disregard that. If I build another one, let's make sure that we do direct insertion. Um, so, where are we going to build... A outpost for brass. Um, before we start too, I do want to say it is raining quite heavily here and my computer is set up next to a window so sorry if you hear a little bit of uh, rain in the background but uh, this is Australia and we are currently in the middle of a major drought and huge bushfires so I'm not going to complain about the rain that's for sure. Anyway let's let's get to it. Uh, do we want to build it here? I mean we've got we've got our copper here uh, we just need to bring nickel in uh, we probably could do it here, or we could extend out and uh, do it somewhere else. We could build it down here. Look, I'm going to go for the quicker option of building it over here. Um, because, well, you know, uh, laziness and all that. Let's, uh, let's copy this. Let's copy that. Uh, one, two... Go out there, so there's enough room to get uh, four of these in. Should be, yep, perfect. All right, so this is going to bring our nickel in. I'm going to change that to uh, no zinc, not nickel. Hang on, um, let's check because uh, yeah, we don't want to we don't want to mix this up yet again. All right. Uh, what are we making? We are making bronze. No, no, brass! Brass! Alright, so brass, molten brass comes from zinc and copper. Alright, so this is going to be uh, zinc ore. G-Zinc. Lead tin uh, is starting to really lose its lose its name, isn't it? Um, I've got a weird name on this one. Yeah, I do. Not sure why that extra little L is in there. Now uh, that one is okay though. All right, so um, uh, you guys are ready to go in there. Yep. All right, let's get a train and let's get you to pick up. Let's first find where we have some zinc. Uh, so we've got zinc here. Uh, we got a lot of zinc there, that's nice. Do we have any uh, zinc over here as well? Uh, what have we got? We got tin, uh, cobalt, iron, and copper. So I think, I think this here is our supply of um, our supply of zinc. Now, one thing I want to do is while I'm here, so we are, we are pretty close. Might as well. Uh, might as well help it out a bit. Um, let's just do that. Okay, we'll run down here with this guy. Get us there a bit quicker. Um, I want to. I want to change it so that it is just feeding into two. I want to put this into uh, two of these. And uh, it's probably probably the easiest way to do that is just to kill that and kill all of that
Um, all right, well, we don't really want the local construction box doing that. All right, and now we can kill all of that. We can kill that, we can kill that. Thank you, uh, my bots. Good job. All right, and now we actually we can kill that, and we can kill that, and we'll put our loaders in here. Um, now yeah, it's a little bit wasteful using this level of loader, but uh, yeah, well, whatever. I don't have any of the others on me, um, so we're just going to do that. And that'll make sure that these two fill up with uh, with zinc ore, meaning that our zinc train can come down here and fix that up, pick that up uh, as a priority rather than those bottom two. And we're probably we're probably going to do that with basically every single uh, every single base from here on in. I think a one two train rather than um, or even a one one train for something like that. Uh, yeah, rather than these four one four trains, which yeah. Anywho, that's that's just what it is. Okay, let me just make sure I'm not standing in the train. So, you, my friend, are going to pick up some uh, zinc, and then you're going to drop it off. So, go full, and then empty, and uh, away you go, buddy. All right, they are they are quick. Look at that. Uh, max speed 216. It's the max speed of a regular train. Let's have a look. Uh, 259. Actually, they're actually quicker. A regular train is quicker, uh, probably the weight, 3 tonne. Uh, this has a weight of 2 tonne, yeah that's probably explained. That's okay, uh, we can hold much more in here. Uh, oh, it looks like we are full, we've got 12k rather than 8k, which is nice. Uh, there is 8k in there, and I think we are, yeah, we just went for kind of double that. That's okay. Uh, so now we have... Now we have a row of uh, zinc ore, and we have uh, two. We've got two rows of copper ore. So of course we'll make them face the correct way. Um, all right, I want to just. I always like to leave a little bit of space. There we go. All right. So we're going to bring something else across. Now, how we, where are we going to set this up? Um, I don't like this setup anymore, that's for sure. So these have, they don't have much in them. I'm going to uh, rearrange this a wee bit. What are we looking at? Uh, uh, look, maybe that's alright. Maybe that is okay. Um, I suppose, don't suppose we've got the materials we need to actually make this. No, we don't. So let's get our train and head on back to grab us all the thingamajigs, uh, furnaces and whatnot that we need. And we will get some brass, which will be nice because then we can make brass chests. Um, which honestly with silos, I haven't really been using chests at all. Um, I don't know if we can do a brass requester chest, I don't know if we can do that. Let's have a look. Um, regular requesters. Let's just do a search for a chest. See if there's other types of chests. A robo chest. Um, uh, big chests. Big requester chest. Storage size is 60. What's the storage size of this? 48. 64. Yeah, all right. So we're probably not going to need them, but uh, let us grab some things. All right. Uh, again, we don't have any of those in stock. Uh, what are we requesting here? Pellet press 10. Um, let's let's get rid of that. Casting machines. Okay, we've got 20 casting machines. That's good. I'm going to get uh, 10 of induction furnaces. Pellet presses, we are getting none. Alright, uh, apparently pellet presses are not being made. Do we need pellets? Uh, we haven't actually checked out. We haven't actually checked out uh, how to make zinc ingots. So zinc ingots... 
uh, are made from carbon and oxygen and process ink. Okay, that's a good one. And not that one. Uh, so this one actually creates zinc and lead. Uh, but we don't need lead, do we? We need tin. Tin for brass? Better double check this. Uh, copper and zinc. Yeah, sorry, not, not lead. Copper. So copper and zinc. Um, so if we do if we do this one, means we actually need to research that. Um, that will be handy. Uh, and that is done in a chemical furnace. That's different. Okay. We'll have to uh, craft up some chemical furnaces. Uh, we do have metallurgy two to make chemical furnaces. Uh, and then that makes zinc ingots. And then this is just made in induction furnace. And this is just made in cast machines. So that's good. That's good. And we've got all the stuff for. Uh, for copper is is all of that. All right, let's uh, let us grab some of these things. So, uh, do we have compressors being made? I don't remember. Let's have a look. Uh, that rain is getting a little bit heavier. Uh, where are our compressors? Sure, they were somewhere in here. I don't know why I bother. Yeah, I was right. Here we go. Uh, air filter. That's why. Um, we have none in storage. Okay, let's uh, let's make some of them. We seem to be using a few of them. Uh, all right, that's that is that. That is good. Um, I don't I don't like that. That's. Oh, I see what's going on. Some craziness. There we go. All right. That'll uh, that'll be better. Uh, so that was in uh, petrochem. Air, air. Here we go. Air filter and air filter two. All right. We'll need a couple of these. We'll need one of these. So say fast stack it is fast stack. Uh, we do actually need one in there. Oh, let's... All right, let's uh, let's cut this and move it to that one. There we go. All right. Got a fast inserter there and a fast inserter there, and let's limit that one so that we'll have uh, say 20 air compressor air uh, filters mark two. All right, that seems pretty good. Let's get these sorted. Uh, steel pipe. I don't know if we have steel pipe, do we? Yeah, we do. Okay, that's good. And you need uh, stone, iron pipe, circuits. Yeah, great. Alright. This will get uh, everything it needs. We'll be happy. Uh, and then now the other thing was uh, chemical. Metallurgy was a uh, chemical furnace. Chemical furnace. Here we go. Uh, yep, we can. We can make those. We sure can. All right. Let's do. Uh, let's do the same thing that we did here. Can't copy that. Don't be silly. If we copy it. We'll get the same. Uh, we'll get the same request in the request chests, and then that will, of course, uh, automatically bring the stuff. And we don't necessarily need that straight away. All right, now this is going to not be that. It is going to be metallurgy, uh, chemical furnace mark two, because this is going to be a chemical furnace mark one, and that's going to be a chemical furnace mark two. Copy, copy, ditch that. There we go. All right, uh, we've got four air filters built. It's great. Chemical furnaces being built. Lovely. All right, now let's work on. Uh, the things we need. We need how many pellet, pellet uh, ore? How many ore things do we need? Uh, that was ten, wasn't it? So we're going to need twenty, uh, one for each, one for each of those. Um, all right, let's get rid of that request. Let us get twenty of them. Thank you. 
Uh, 20, we have uh, 20 on the way, that's nice. Alright, now we do need, uh, we don't need pellet press. Let's, uh, let's just double check that. So this comes from uh, zinc ingot, uh, which just goes in. Yep, okay, so we don't need pellet press, we do need sulfur dioxide though. Uh, that is, that is unfortunate, but... Oh no, it produces sulfur dioxide. We can burn that off. Yep, easy. Um, although, like sulfur dioxide is pretty, pretty handy. Um, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll tank it. Well, we'll figure something out. We might tank it and then burn off the excess. Um, all right, we've got our twenty of them. We need some blast furnaces. Uh, yep. Definitely do. I don't think we need 20 of them, but we'll, uh, we'll request them. Um, blast furnace, blast furnace, mark two. Let's get uh, 10 of them, I think. I think we did, uh, we did one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, yep. So five each of those. Uh, or actually, we only need five. We don't need 10. Um, we've already got 10 on the way. Okay, well, that's that's that. Uh, yes, because we don't need blast furnaces for uh, for the uh, zinc. We that's what we're using the chemical furnaces for. Um, and then we've got induction furnaces. We can actually uh, get rid of that pellet press. We got our ten inductions and our twenty casting machines. That'll be uh, enough. Is that enough? How many casting machines do we actually use over here? Um, yep, twenty is enough. All right, let's see how our chemical furnaces are going. Uh, yeah, nine of them. That'll, that should be enough. We'll, um, another one would be good just to make a nice even ten. There we go. All right. Uh, theoretically, that should be enough to get us going. So let's head back on over and uh, see if we can see if we can build it. All right. What's the top speed of this guy? Uh, max speed 259. Okay, yeah, that's the same as as the other trains. All right. So we will. Um, I'm gonna. Well, we need to think about where we're gonna fit this in, of course. Uh, we also need a. Uh, we need to build a output. An output. Uh, one of these to get out. Uh, and that will go. Uh, that will go there. Probably don't need another one of those, do I? Uh, no, I do. Okay. That there. We'll need to connect that like that, and make sure these are connected as well. All right. Great job, bots. Great job. Uh, and then this is going to be our surprise surprise bronze. Now we just have to build it. All right. Let us copy this because uh, this works. All right. Uh, no, not that. Let's copy all of that. And uh, where are we going? Where are we going to put it? All right. Let's build it up this way. To make sure we've got it going the right way, yep. Alright, you're going to go there. I think we are probably going to need to uh, kill this, I'm afraid. Let's get a few of these here. Alright, and that does cover everything. Alright. It's been a while since I've done this, so uh, I'd be interested to see whether this is now actually strong enough. Um, is that all of our lasers? Or do we have more? Uh, we do have we do have more. So let's put a uh, few more along here. And why not? Out this bucket. Okay, there we go. We are out. Now we just need to uh, hook this up, pole, and step away. There we go. Get you guys going. 
Go repair some stuff, guys. Don't die for these bots. Look at that plasma. Those plasma cannons are just outrageous, aren't they? Uh, thing of beauty. Pop another one down here. Yeah. Because I think these guys uh, run out of range. And last one, man. Uh, that is that is delightful, is it not? It sure is. All right, let's rip it all up. Rip it all up. Um, oh, this poor guy over there ran. Alrighty, now we have ten more minutes left. Let's see if we can build this in that time. Shouldn't be an issue. Um, so this is the output. We're actually going to build this the other way. Ugh. Oh gosh, um, did I kill anything important there? I don't know. We don't want that. Get rid of that. Alright. Yep, put that the other way. We've got... Yeah, we've actually got our oxygen coming in, which is nice. And that is the ingots that we need. Uh, but they need fuel. Ah oh, yes, so... Charge up, guys. Uh, we're also going to have to bring in uh, our carbon here. Uh, where is our carbon? Carbon is over here. We uh, we might need to upgrade that just a wee bit. Because uh, we are spreading it pretty thin. Might get a second, second line out. Uh, that one, I mean, that one seems to be handling it pretty well, but... You know, why not? Is that, did I just do that right? Yep, I did. Alright. There we go. Um, how are we going to do that? Uh, how about how about you go to there, and then you go to there. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's nice, but what we need to do is grab our upgrade planner and just make, uh, let's make all of that into reds. Um, and then we'll put another one of these here in that really awkward way, like that. Alright. And now we can have, uh, we can have this as a red, a red belt, which would be nice. Now, um, what is that? That must be... Oh uh, yeah, we're still incredibly short on... Uh, on tin ore. Uh, we'll have to fix that up. That's for sure. Alright. Uh, I think at this point we'll uh, we'll take this up to here. Like so. Alright, now we have the things we need. Um, that is sadly a little bit high, isn't it? Alright, well, what I'm going to do is do that. We'll have to do that. And then we go there. Alright. Uh, so that should start building us some things. Some things. Uh, some copper ingots. Now we're going to get over here and we are going to uh, we're gonna start building. Is that not connected? Uh, what is going on here? Sure, why that wasn't happening? There we go. Okay, that was a problem. There was a uh, mustn't have copied it correctly. All right, let's get this over here. Let's just randomly start it there. Uh, I feel like I'm kind of committed to this setup now, um, where they're just side by side. Um, and I don't know if I like it. I really don't know if I like it. All right. Well, let's just let's just see how it goes. I don't need that though. Uh, no. Yeah. Control Z. Let's undo all of that. We need to paste it facing the other way. Like that. Uh, and then these. Uh, we need to change the recipe to tin zinc. All right. 
And you, my friend, are now going up there. Ah, all right. So, zinc is going into a uh, a what? A what? 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 Um. Okay. So we process the zinc. We get two processed zincs. Four ore in two processed zincs, and those processed zincs are going into the chemical furnace at a ratio of eight every four seconds. Let's get some numbers here. Um, where's my chemical furnaces? Which ones are they? This one? Alright. Uh, I'm just going to pop it over here and we'll have a look. Zinc ingot uh, from processed zinc. Yep, that's what we want. So, this requires eight processed, ink, uh, processed zinc in four seconds, so two a second. Uh, and has a crafting speed of 1.5 as well, that's good. And this produces uh, to a second. And what I say this needs? Uh, to a second. To every second? And it's producing to every second, so it's actually a one to one. No, it's producing one a second. Ah, okay. yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. Okay, we are, we are great. We are golden. Um, so this is going like that, and uh, we have we have this extra extra piping that we need to put in, which is actually a bit of a bit of an issue, bit of an issue I've got to say. Um, so put a fast inserter feeding in that, and we are going to have to do a little bit of that. Alright, so that goes the other way. Let's get this right. So that is now feeding in the carbon, and we need to feed in oxygen. How much oxygen does one of these take? Um, 60, 15 a second. Um, I don't know if we've got enough to uh, supply this. If I just do something along this lines. If we uh, rip that out, let's get rid of get rid of that, um, and put in a third one of these. Should should have enough. Um, all right. Okay, we actually we actually need kind of that, and then oh, that works surprisingly well over here. Uh, that there now we should be able to. Paste uh, this arrangement. Uh, that arrangement, yep. Alright. Now let's see if we've got enough oxygen to supply uh, supply this guy. Right, I'm going to put that there like that. And then for now we'll just uh, we'll quickly run this up here. Just to make sure that this is going to work. All right, and voila, uh, that is working. All right, and then we need uh, we need this to output. Uh, this is outputting 24 in that's six a second. So we're definitely going to need a stack inserter out of that. We'll, uh, we'll do the same double stack inserter, uh, and we're going up with this, aren't we? Yes, we are. All right, and then we're going to need uh, power and power. Now that then should be able to be pasted like that. And of course, we've just got to actually rip those out for now. Uh, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Who would have thought it lined up when we've got ten of the exact same thing? going each way. Alright, uh, that is delightful. Uh, do I have a Jax? I do have a Jax pressure tank here. Um, uh, that's silly. Alright, let's do that and pump it in. 
that is powered up. And then we want to flare this. Flare this. Um, with a... Uh, okay, flare with a pipe. That's too close. Okay, there. No. Uh, we need a overflow valve. I think I had a few of those here. Yep. Um, which way is that facing? Alright. Up. And then let's put another pipe there. And then we can put our flare stack. Because uh, I can't put it there, can I? No, I can't. Right, so we put it there. Ah, oh, hang on. Uh, that's sulfur dioxide gas. Yes, so we should be able to flare sulfur dioxide gas. Um, but we'll... Um, We'll store it because we might we might want to use that for something. Anyway, we now have most importantly we have these things. And let's uh You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mirror this over here. Alright. So, we want to make an induction furnace. Uh, let's start it over here. And you are making brass. Brass, 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 brass. Uh, and it, brass takes uh, 18 copper ingots every 4 seconds. Um, so, what is that? That is 4.5 a, a second. Uh, with a 1.5 is a... Um, it's not eight. It's close to eight, though. It's about seven and a half. Um, if this is using seven and a half, and we have thirty, we can make four of them. Um, I feel like I, I feel like this was the same, wasn't it? Eighteen, and we only made three. Uh, maybe we could have supported more. Who knows? All right, let's copy that. Uh, there, 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 and there. All right. So let's power this up. Does you need anything else? No, that's all you need. Um, you obviously actually need power from here. Uh, the output of that then turns into... Uh, these are outputting 240 a second. Yeah, we, we need this, this whole thing again. That whole thing again. And we'll, uh, we'll plonk it. Uh, over here, yep, just like that. Um, why didn't it? Why didn't it place those things along there? Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe, uh, maybe all these stupid alien artifacts, probably. All right. Well, let's uh, let's copy that. Copy that there. Ah, I see, I see. We need to change the recipes first. Recipe to brass plate. Because uh, it won't it won't allow us to uh, mix fluids. No mix of the fluids. Alright, so now we can copy that. There, 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 and there. Um, but it looks like we're out of we're out of pipe. We got some we have got some bronze being made. Uh, look at that bronze plate. All right. Now uh, we just need to hook this pipe up. So we are of course out of time. Um, but there we go. We have bronze plate, which we can now take to uh, some kind of. I'm just going to pick up some of these large artifacts to make more plasma. Um, we have bronze plate that we can now go and. Oh, what I save? Uh, go and send to our next level science, our logistic science setup, when we actually make one, and that will enable us to um, build bronze chests, which is the first ingredients of logistic science. There we go. So we are a step closer. Um, I'm going to off camera. Once we finish here, I'm just going to go grab some stuff to finish that off, and I'll run this down into our uh, brass plate uh, station down here. 
and then we will be ready to tackle uh, the next thing which is where things are going to get really really tough uh, which is going to be express belts uh, because yes look at that express belts need cobalt and aluminium neither of which we currently have so um, that is the path that we need to go down and it's got to be done so we'll just keep keep chugging along and uh, it'll be fun all right as always love to hear your comments um, I do I do enjoy comments and uh, especially the thing like direct insert why didn't I direct insert over here yeah crazy but we didn't anyway thanks for all the info and I'll see you tomorrow